There was a group of about three or four prickets at the back of the does, and the first thing I saw was one deer. And then the ground rises and falls, and they've kind of come out of the ground because they were there anyway. But there was there was a dozen of them, a dozen of fifteen there. But uh, some have gone that way, and some have gone that way. But I, uh, yeah, flipping it, Bogan. <laughs> down in the glorious Cotswolds and it's um, mid-September and I've got a client out with me today, well tonight and tomorrow morning, a guy called Bill and I haven't seen Bill for probably 15 years. So um, he's an auction winner for the Game Wildlife Trust and he's out stalking cull animals with us. So uh, yeah, a lot of the stumbles have now been turned in um, our mind turns to fallow deer perhaps a bit more than it has been and yeah all the colours are starting to go a little bit yellow now leaves are starting to drop and it's that little bit chilling a little bit of a chill in the morning so uh, kind of starting back to work after the road really so um, yeah looking forward to it very much I'm just going to meet him and then we're going to check the zero if he's gone and that's tonight's project Happy with that, mate. No bother. Yeah. No, no, no. Believe me, I have a lot worse. <laughs> no, you have to paint that board head. white once in a while. You know what I mean? I took, uh... Nice, yeah. Yeah. The, the FH the FH35R is good because it's got a range finder on it yeah. as well. But uh, this is so easy to use and so clear and uh, and uh, don't stalk now, but just keep an eye out here. Um, yeah, you can see the browns line
see how she's standing there, look. She's turned again now. She's looking to her horse. Nice one, Cyril. Which one? Let's have another one. Working with professionals there, you see. Nice shot from Bill. Using his um, 243. I don't think any fallow across come out this side now. <laughs> That's what I love about the old jacket. It's so versatile. Always, always there for a backup when you can't get a fallow bricket. I can't be good. I'd talk to him. You say, no, it's not nice. 15 to the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely right. I think it's, it's a good shot, that is, if it's there. <laughs> not across. I don't know if it's is it? <laughs> well, it looked like them. The carpet had been pulled from underneath it when I saw it, so I think you know, I think we'll be all right. Something for dinner anyway. Oh, I really, I really, I really thought there would be some fallow on this stubble, and as we've been coming across, this, there's quite a few slots all over it, and uh, all that fraying that we saw yeah. in there. But uh, I didn't want you to be disappointed. You know what I mean? I didn't want you to have a blank. You know. Under pressure since it's 20 years since we stalked together. I don't want to leave it another 20 years below, she'll be in your late 50s. I have to split me hilts because you didn't see me, you're up there, it's there, I'm waiting to see if you go. Sometimes you haven't. She felt like she'd got quite a belly on her and everything, so I thought, well, I've not shot anything over this side. The farmer moans at me, I can say, well, we started, haven't we? We shifted one jack already. This is where I thought the fellow would be all along this edge. We could walk down there and bring it back up here and there could already be deer coming out of it down. We'll go down that one. No, no, no. Stand here for half an hour and just watch. They are yeah, yeah, going to do. They come out of here at last light. Yeah, cool. Cross them. We've got another. We've got another appointment, so it's just. Uh, oh dear. Just see. Just see. 
I've seen a nice Munchak in the pen, Dan. King of the pen, too. Oh, the sequel. Grandson of King of the pen. It's kind of weird, because this time of the year, normally the place would be full of pheasants. Yes. And yeah. um, because there's been a serious issue with game birds this year with regards to game flu, game flu, bird flu, and um, and actually getting uh, young birds and hatching eggs. A lot of places have made the decision not to put any birds down, so this is one such place, and uh, it would normally probably, I don't know, have a couple of thousand birds on it, and uh, they'll be everywhere. It's a nightmare to stalk, and it's a... Uh, kind of miss them a bit now. <laughs> it's, uh, you're going to miss the uh, the feed that goes down from them. Yeah, I think I think they will feed them. He's put a couple of feeders out in each wood um, because there are plenty of birds about. But with all these stubble fields, there's still still a lot of food. You know what I mean? And it's for what's for what's left. But um, yeah, it's weird. So this time of night, that'd all be full of birds coming back in. That's that's uh, the big pen there. It's a nice spot, isn't it? Great view. Yeah. Over Oxfordshire. It's so always, always, always a nice place just to just, Sometimes you, you're as well just to stand here for half an hour than go off and try and cover every bit of ground. You can kind of suss one out coming out there and you know he's coming back over to here and you can kind of get in there. Yeah, cut him off at the pass, but uh, I don't know what the time is. It must be about half six, isn't it? Just gone six, we need to go to uh, the main event, he said confidently. Right, come on. So uh, we were here last night with Bill, uh, looking for fallow deer. We're just trying to see what uh, books are arriving, mature books. And um, <laughs> this wasn't here yesterday, so this is a scrape the size of a dustbin lid. Uh, there's a piece of holly here that's been smashed, and you can see where uh, good mature bucks um, scraped, completely scraped with his, uh, his top spellers into this uh, holly tree. Starting to show everybody he's the guy in town. So uh, maybe, hopefully, we'll see him tonight, but I uh, can't believe that. Last night, nothing, and tonight. <laughs> Lights on. I, uh, I love this time of year. Oh yeah, look.
I do like it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> so Tom's brought some high seats down for us and did all the graft. Well, we did a bit. But I said, bring your rifle and um, you can have it. We'll go out for a stalk in the evening. I need some fallow deer. But we left the kit bag at home, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> the Which is good because he's got to use my helix. And um, yeah, that was uh, one, one, 147, I think it said on my uh, CR35, no, CH35R infrared spotter. That's awesome, isn't it? You can use your spotter, thermal and um, call in the shot. Um, and uh, yeah, look at us. We're on a yellow stubble. We must stick out like a sore thumb, but if you look in the background, we've got a got a row of trees and we've kind of used that as a camouflage and uh, there was a group of about three or four prickets at the back of the does and the first thing I saw was one deer and then the ground rises and falls and they've kind of come out of the ground because they were there anyway but there was there was a dozen of them, a dozen of 15 there but uh, some have gone that way and some have gone that way but I uh, yeah flipping it well done. from Divana hunting, very last minute, out came all the fella. We snuck up over the hill, over a stubble, kept some trees in behind us, so we got a bit of a backdrop and uh, 150 meters up on the sticks. Well done, very happy with that, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Perfect, just what we just what we needed. And um, yeah, I know there was a group going to come out, but uh, which part of the woodland they were going to come out of, and as it was, it was just where I was, so brilliant. It was a fair group, wasn't it? It was uh, yeah, last night. About a dozen there, so um, I think there's about four prickets. 
I did spot a black one and I did say to Tom, I said, take the black one, but as the light dropped against the, 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 the dark edge of the wood, he couldn't, um, he couldn't see it and we were kind of shooting down up off the hill. Um, yeah, it was, uh, the black one wasn't uh, apparent, so uh, shot this one. Beauty, absolutely wonderful, well done.